1 Thessalonians 5.11. And the word says, it says, Therefore encourage and comfort one another, and build up one another, just as you were doing. So for all those who um, have heard about breast cancer, most of the time we think it's so far-fetched. You know, um, breast cancer, maybe, you know, I won't, I, there's not a possibility that I get it because of the lifestyle. Um, it's maybe a friend or a family member, a distant family member who's had it. And yes, I get my yearly checks. Awareness is one of the greatest things that, um, just coming to the realization, knowing that something exists, naming it, calling it for what it is, and just not acting as though it's, you know, it's um, putting things behind the back burner is, doesn't make it go away. It's there. Picking and understanding and saying, this is what it is. It's called, you know, it's called breast cancer. Name it for what it is. Get the awareness you need and start from there. Once you get the awareness, you encourage yourself. Speak about it. It's not, it's only a menace when we don't speak about it. It's only far-fetched and um, a dirty story, quote-unquote, when we act as though a disease is, is um, it's dirty and can only happen to a group of people. No, it can happen to anybody. Um, I have family members who've gone through breast cancer. Her sister got diagnosed with breast cancer. By God's wish, she's gone through her process and came out of remission just last year. But the process and the understanding of it gets to, it can happen to anybody. After awareness, then there's the role that we have to play. Everybody has a role to play when anyone is sick. We are a community, we don't stand, we're not an island, we're not alone. And it's extremely important that once we found that someone may or could have it, we need to encourage one another that should we find out that someone has it, let's talk about it. 